Hello, it's Sally here from Dotty B. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me. Um, today I'm just going to um, do um, a little stitchery. I'm just going to have some um, basic curm stitches. Um, so um, you, you should all be able to join in if you want to. Um, I'm going to just use a few threads that I've got. I'm going to keep it quite neutral because this, this is going to act as a base um, for adding more um, stitches or fabrics onto. Um, I have started off with a um, square of fabric, just a neutral square of fabric. And this is like a, um, it's like a linen. It's a little bit, little bit flimsy, but um, it will be okay. It's um, four by four square or um, 10 by 10 centimeters, four by four inches, 10 by 10 centimeters what I'm going to start with. Um, that's just rough, a rough guide. Um, if you were stitching along with this, then you, you can use whatever size you want. Um, I'm just going to do a little one. Um, so so it, it's, it's quite a little project. It's not going to take up that much time, but um, so it's not, it's, you know, it's no big commitment. You can just pick it up whenever you want to do, um, or you can do it straight away in one long um, stretch, although it's not going to be that long. Um, and then add more onto it. Um, so it's really um, a base. This is how I like to start off with um, a neutral base and then add more fabrics on. So I've gone through, I've got, um, you can see this, so I've got a box here. This is my neutrals box that, where all my scraps go. Um, I don't throw um, anything away. As you can see, small pieces um, I keep um, because you never know when you might need them. So, um, and I love, um, th these are from, I think this is from an old tablecloth um, that I've still got quite a lot of, but I keep um, cutting into, because it's a lovely linen fabric, this is, it's an old, an old fabric. Um, so, and I love the edge on this, so um, I just keep my little scraps because they're ideal for um, these kind of projects. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off just gathering some of my my off cuts, my little scraps, um, and fitting them onto onto this the base. Um, I quite like that actually. Um, I wonder if I could use that as a corner. Ah, there we go. I'm going to use it like that. So yeah, let's take this off. Or can I use, yeah, I think what I'm going to do is going to cut across here. I wonder if I can tear it, yeah. I'll just snip that bit off. There. So. Oh, yes. Or not. Um. I'm not sure because it's taking up quite a lot of room there and I haven't got that much room. Um, we'll leave it there for now and see how we get on because um, cause what could happen? That could go there then, couldn't it? Um, well, so yeah, let's see how we go on. So these ones here, I love these. These, these are like old sheets um, and this one's got like a blue, um, a blue, li blue lines through it and I've also got one with green lines through. So um, I think I'm going to go with green. That actually fits along there quite nicely. So I may, could use it at the bottom maybe. Right, okay. So we've got a corner of a handkerchief here. Um, but that has got blue and I'm, I'm going to stay away from blue this time. I'm going to see that there's another handkerchief. I love these corners as well. You take a corner and um, that, but I'm not going to do blue today. I'm going to stay away from blue. This here is um, like a mini doily, which, um, see, that would be nice as well, wouldn't it? I don't know how it would fit into that corner, but I could probably, if I did it to one side, maybe. Yes, I like that. And um, yes, I think I'm going to go with that. I've got some here. This is um, a corner off a hanky as well. It's got a lovely edge to it. Um, yeah, let me just see how that looks. If I did that and that, then all I need was one across the top. So I might take that away. Um, I could just use a little bit of linen. 
like that there i think we've got we've got our piece right i'm just going to snip some of these um, little strands off here um it's where it's been fraying i'm sure it will fray again but um for now i'm just going to snip those off so let me just um pop all of those bits over to one side um yeah so what i'm going to do here I'm going to snip this so this lies underneath. I'm going to go over, I might go over actually. So that's going to go there. That's going to go there, that's going to go there. It doesn't matter if you go over the um, base fabric a little bit. It will make it a little bit bigger, but um, it doesn't really matter. And then that there. Um, yep, I think. Do I put it central? I don't want it central. I'm going to go over to one side. So that's that's kind of what I'm working with. Right, decisions made. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a little bit of um, Pritt stick. Um, just, it's just a, like a little, uh, like a paper glue type thing. Um, just gently put a little bit on. It's just to stop, um, because this piece is so small, I don't really want to use pins too much. So if I just stick it down with a little bit of glue, then it, it won't move. Let's do this piece. Um, I don't think it matters. I think both sides are about the same. And then this one, this one here. I'm just going to move this over a little bit. There. And then this one goes into this corner like that. There. Oops. Oops. Okay, so that's that bit done. And then this bit is going here. Let's make sure that is the right way around. Yes, I think that's the right way around. So I've got a little bit of a lacy edge, so that's going to go there. Now, um, yeah. Right. I'm just thinking, shall I get ready to sew those down first? I don't think I need to, actually, because once this is sewed down, everything else will hold. So that's going to go there. Uh, I'm going to pop a little bit of glue on this as well just a little bit just to make it tacky so it will it will stay in place there we go right let's pop that away um what i've also got is um i thought i'd um when i've sewed everything down um, I thought I'd pop in a word. So I've gone for calm. Um, just we've had the hustle and bustle of Christmas. And um, it's just in between Christmas and New Year. So it's kind of like the calm before the next storm of New Year. Um, but And also just because I want a little bit of calm. So that's you can use other words. Love, flower, peace, anything you like. So that's going to go somewhere as well. Just a little bit of calm. Um, and then once everything's so down, I'm going to do a little bit of a, an embroidery, I think, a little bit of um, a flower maybe or something. So what I'm going to do first of all is start on this and start sewing it down. So I'm going to start with, um, this is one of my favourite threads. It is just a machine thread. Um, it's a Silco, it's quite an old one. Um, and it's, it's, I don't know what colour you'd call it. Um, like it's, it's a cross between a yellow and a green. I don't really know what it's called, but it's like a mustardy. I love the colour. So I'm going to use that. That's my first colour. And what I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to start here. And just following the line of the lace and the, and the linen, I'm just going to do a running stitch 
really simple up and down you can do it um, the split stitches as um, big or small as you want and oh, come under. Hope you're all well and you've had a good Christmas. And you're finding time to do some stitching or whatever else you, you do, you like to do. Um, being with family. Oops. It's um, a bit of a dull day today. It's not raining. It rained quite a lot in the night, but um, it's not too bad at the moment. So um, we have been out, out and about this morning. Oh, I can just see. It's a bit of a... Oh dear, I'm bleeding. injuries we get when we're sewing you wouldn't believe it would you but um, so going all the way around this little doily these are so cute these little doilies I don't know um I think I must have um, picked them up somewhere I think it was from like an antique antique market or um I think it was an antique market. Well, they're in a pack with a load, a load of other linens and stuff. And um, I thought, now what can I? I've got, I've, there's about, I've got about, I think I've got about six of them. But um, I don't know whether they were designed for embroidering on and using as little coasters or not. I don't know. They, didn't, they don't really look like they've been used very much. They're not, um, they've got no stains on or anything like that. But. Um, I knew they'd come in handy soon. I've had them probably about a year, but um, I've just been in my little stash of other goodies that I keep around just in case I need them. So there we go. We've gone all the way around in a running stitch and I'm just going to finish that off. So that's all nice and attached. And I've still got a few, um, I've got a loose end here, I've got a loose little bit here, so I'm going to do some stitching there, and I've got some stitching here to do as well. So uh, I think I'm going to stay in the same, I'm going to stay in the same colour. I'm not going to alternate it too much this time. Like I say, this is one of my favourite colours anyway, so I do, I do like it. And I think um, if I'm going to stitch a flower, then it, it will still go with the green. Okay, so here, there's only a little, little way to go. I'm going to do some crosses, so it's just a little cross stitch. So just come up and over. So I'm just cat it, cat, catching one side. So I'm going from that side over to that side. So just tiny little stitches. So down. Joining up with that side. I'm just going to pull that thread. Get a couple more on here. Um. Okay, let me get another one. I might be able to get one more after this. 
I'm sewing right near the edge now so it does get a little bit fiddly. I think I might be able to get one more in. Yeah, it's a little bit wonky, but um, it doesn't matter. There. So, what's that? About five, five crosses. So, I'm just going to um, knot that off. I might just have caught something there. Just pick that out with my needle. Right, okay, so that's that one. And then I just got down here. So, what stitch shall I do down there? Um, I'm going to do a herringbone, I think. So, this is, um, it's, a, it's, it's like a decorative cross stitch. Um, so, as long as you keep your lines straight either side, Go up and over. Can you see how it's crossing over? And then over to this side here. Down and back up again. I'm not um, I'm not measuring out or conscious of where I'm going. I'm just trying to even be even, but it doesn't really matter. They aren't even. You can see they're kind of a little bit higgledy piggledy, but they're fine. Just keep your stitches straight you come up down and back up but if you don't want to do this stitch you can do whatever stitch you like you can just you can do running stitch all over you can do cross stitch all over you can do all sorts just a back stitch Getting fiddly again because we're at the edge. It's not quite right. Let me just flatten that down. There, and then back over to here and down. There, yeah, that's the hairy bone stitch. And just knock that off as well. So, okay, that's all of our decorative stitches for now. That's all we need to do. I just like to go um, over the um, the seams, I suppose they're called, but um, I haven't, um, they're still rough seams. You don't have to be too particular. Um, I'm just going to leave all this here. This has already got an edge, this has got an edge, but these bits I'm just going to leave. Um, they have they have frayed and they probably will fray. That that's the back backing fabric there. So, but no, I'm quite happy with that so far. So, um, I've got my little word. I'm going to pop that on somewhere, probably there. And then I want to do a flower. So, what I'm going to do is um, just grab my. Um, bear with me one second. I've left it over here. We've got this book here, full foolproof flower embroidery. Um, I've used this um, quite a few times um, in my stitchery. Um, it's by Jennifer Clouston. Um, it's just absolutely wonderful for little ideas, little stitcheries of all different flowers and the stitches that you use. Um, so I'm just going to have a quick look through here just to get a little bit of inspiration. Um, so I want some kind of a stem. Let me just grab this. Right, so what I'm wanting is I'm wanting some kind of stem and then a flower. So I'm not going to be too, um, I'm not going to um, be too, make it too complicated. Um, if we, if leaves look good as well. Um, there's lots of leaves and these here, I love um, this kind of, this kind of step that would be nice wouldn't it i think i might do something like that with with some leaves coming off and maybe some flowers so yeah look at this here 
some beautiful colours as well. I'm not going to do as many stitches as this. I'm just going to keep mine quite simple. But I'm going to do some like curly stems, I think. I like how this goes round here. I wonder if I could like, I could even, yeah, I might even go over that. So if I've got my word, I'm thinking putting it up in this corner because there's a bit of space there. So as long as I make allowances for where that goes, I think I could do right. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to move the book out of the way. And I'm going to um, find my friction pen, which I've a lot. Oh, hang on. No, this is one. OK, so I'm going to put my words just out of the way for now. I know it's going in that corner, so that's fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just roughly draw in a bit of a curly stem. Then I might go up there and go around there. So that's kind of, I don't know whether you can see that or not. I've just dotted it for now, just to give me a little guide. So it doesn't look very much at the moment. It looks a bit of a mess, but it will be fine. This, These pens iron off, um, but I will be sewing over them anyway. So I'm going to use my green that I've already pulled out. Um, this is, um, it is a Perle. It's a Coates one, um, but it is really old. Um, that's about all I can tell you, really. It's it's quite a thinnish one. It says 50. I don't know whether that's the the thickness. I'm not sure. But um, it, it's just an old one that um, I picked up somewhere along the way with a batch of others. And I'm going to use. So we'll get our needle back again. Again, I'm just using a single a single thread. I don't want anything too clumsy on this or too too bulky or big because um, it is only a small piece. So we're going delicate-ish. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to um, do a, a back stitch. So we'll come up. And then I'm just going, you go backwards first and then you go over. Not probably cut it a little bit too long, but it'll be fine. You could also use um, a stem stitch here, which looks quite nice. Dear, something's knotting all the time. What's going on there? Okay. And then once this is done, you can mount it onto a card. You could frame it. Save it for a birthday present for somebody. Or just use it for yourself. Have it for yourself. You can just pick it up whenever you like. They're all small little bits, so you can put them into a little tin and pop it into your handbag. Take wherever you go, and when you've got a few minutes, just do a few stitches. Still something snagging. I don't know what it is. So 
So have you got any New Year plans? Are you having a party? Are you going to a party? We're, um, I think we're, ours is going to be fairly quiet this year. Um, all of our children, I've got four children, all of our children have got something to do. The son's going off to a fancy dress party. Um, my other son is with his girlfriend. I think they're going out meeting friends. My oldest daughter is going out somewhere. And my youngest daughter, though she, she will be here. She's having a sleepover with a friend, so it will be here, but um, they usually shut themselves off and watch a film or something, and pizza, I think it will be, and a film. So, I'm not sure what we're doing yet. It won't be anything that exciting, though, I don't think, this year. Right, so there's my first stem. And then I'll we'll just finish this off. And then I want to do some leaves. So I'll do those other stems in a moment, but I um, just want to show you what it is. So I'm going to pop a flower here. I'm not sure what flower yet. And then we want to do some leaves. So what kind of leaves am I going to do? Um, what kind of leaves will fit? I don't want massive leaves. I'm going to put a leaf here. A leaf there. A leaf there. And a leaf there, I think. Um, I may do one there as well. So, for my leaves, I'll show you one and then I'll, um, what I'll do is I'll probably pop off camera um, and do the rest. So, my leaf here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, I can't even remember what stitch it's called. Um, what stitch is it called? I can't remember. I'll, I'll find out and um, let you know when I put back. My mind's gone blank. I think it's a flat. Oh, I can't remember. So I'm going up each side of the leaf. No, I'm not. I've done that wrong. Oh dear. Let's start again. I wouldn't say a fly stitch, but I don't think it is. I think it might be a fishbone stitch. I think they're both similar, but um, I need to just do a little, little tail on that. It's a kind of like a little Y shape. So I'm coming up here at the side of the leaf, down this side of the leaf, up in the middle, where the other one finished, like that, and then I just need to finish it off, that's what I forgot to do last time. So you're kind of making a vein for the leaf. So again, up this side, down this side, and up through the middle. Like that, and down there. So I'm just following the lines of the leaf. You can do. You can. I, I'm kind. I've kind of dotted where I want my leaves to be. But you can. You can always try. You can always try and draw solid lines. With these pens, they do. They do iron out, so you're not left with marks. So up that side, down this side, and then up through the middle to make your vein of your leaf.
and I think hopefully I'm just going to do one more. Ouch! Sewing my finger onto my fabric, so just one more. There you go. So there we go, one leaf. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, stop the camera and finish that off. I'm just going to do the same again with these and the leaves and then we'll work on the flower. So I'll see you in a moment. Right, I'm back. So I've now finished all my stems and I've finished my leaves. Um, first of all, yes, it was fly stitch. Um, I was doubting myself, but yes, it's fly stitch. And I also have made a little bit of a, this one here is have made a mistake. Um, if you look, um, when, you, when you're doing the leaves, start from the outside and work towards the stem. Otherwise, the, um, like the spokes of your leaf are going to go the wrong way. Can you see that, how that one's going that way? But these ones are all going outwards. So yeah, a tip for that one is just start with the outside and work towards your stem when you're doing your leaves. Don't, what I did on this one, this was my first one I did, I started the stem and worked outwards. Um, so yes, but it, it doesn't matter too much. So anyway, we've got our stems, we've got our leaves and I'm going to work on the on the flowers now. Um, I'm going to just do buds and I've chosen um, a peachy colour. Just thought that quite that works quite well with that, um, the yellowy greeny colour and the green of the leaves. So um, th this one here and this one here, I'm going to um, just do small little French knots. Um, I don't know what I've done there. I've got a, a knot and a knot. Let's, um, let's start again, let's take that off. I've got three um, strands here of um, embroidery floss, um, just, from, just from the, I think this is a DMC one, so I've, I've kind of halved the, 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 um, the, the strand, the six strands, and there's just three strands on here. So I'm just going to do um, a little French knot here, so starting at the tip of the, of the stem, and then I think I'm going to, I've gone around three times on these smaller ones. So just hold it in place until I get to the end and then pull it through. So that's all I'm going to do with that. It's just a little bud. So that's just a little splash of colour, but I'm still keeping it fairly neutral. And I'm just going to do another one on the other small, small stem here. So I think I did three, didn't I? One, two, three. So just hold the, the knot and pull your thread through. Okay, so that's that one done. Um, for the taut, the other one, ouch, 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 ouch. Stuck myself. Right, so this one here, I'm going to do um, several French knots just because it, this one kind of looks a little bit of a bigger a bigger flower. It might have um, already started to, to come out. So I'm going to do three still, three wraps around the needle. But I'm going to do a cluster of knots. I haven't planned out how many, it's just however many looks okay. So, um, just keep them fairly close together. Oops, just a couple more, I think. Can do as many as you like though. Make them all bigger. You can even put petals around the edges. There we 
we go. So let's just tie that off. And we'll see how it looks. It's a couple of strands of... Let's just snip those off. All right, there we go. So that's all done. Okay, so um, we've got our word that I'm going to put on. I just found this little bit of um, gingham fabric. It's just a beigey colour. Um, I thought that might look nice underneath my word. So I might just snip that off and see. I'm just going to fray these edges. Just take a few strands off like so. That should just about fit in there. Now I'll get that way. That's coming off as well. Right. Oh, there's another one there. Okay, let's... Okay, so somewhere there. And then putting that on top. Do I put it all the way? Do I do it off centre or centre? I think a bit off centre. Yeah, something like that. It's going to be. No. Go there. Right, so that's going to go there. So let me get some thread. I'm going to finish up that one. Put that to one side, and I'm just using this as just a um, this is a crochet cotton, just in like a beigey colour. So I'm just going to just take that off as well because that's fraying. And then I'm just going to go round with a running stitch. Just all the way around the edges. So while I'm here, I um, just want to say um, thank you to everyone who's um, liking and subscribing and commenting on um, on my YouTube channel, and also um, everyone who's joining the Facebook group as well. Um, that's um, we're building up quite a um, a few people now. Um, lots of people are sharing their work, some beautiful work um, that you're all sharing. So thank you for that. It's lovely to see see what you're doing as well. And um, yeah. Getting hints and tips of what, um, what to do and um, what other people are working on. It's really nice to see. I love it. So right, got the calm letter there. And um, what I'm going to do is I, I, I was going to do it in that colour, but I think that might just blend in a little bit too much. So I'm going to go back to my yellow game and finish off with the yellow. Um, I'm keeping this quite simple, but there's lots of spaces where you could fill other bits. You, you know, you, there's, there's lots of spaces where you could do more room um, stitches. Um, more flowers but um, I just wanted to keep this one simple so that you can see what you can do with just you know just a few stitches a few simple stitches you don't have to do the same as what I'm doing you can do your own stitching own stitches 
your own design, your flower design. So it's very adaptable, but it's just um, it's just nice to have something small on the go to stitch when you've got a few minutes. Just um, to keep busy, because we don't always want to um, have the big projects commit to big big projects. So I, I, I don't always. Um, I have got um, a few big projects on at the moment, but it's nice just to have a little one so that you can, you know, you can start it and finish it quite quickly. And I think these are nice um, just to have around if um, you've got um, if you've got several, you can just keep them on one side. And then if you've got a birthday coming up, you can attach one to a birthday card for a friend, family member. Or you can pop pop them in little frames as a little present. There. I'm just going around with this yellow. I just think it um, just makes it stand out a little bit more. It ties it in with the rest of the of the picture, the rest of the piece. One more stitch. I think we're about done. Let's just um, finish that off. There we go. So you could sign it and date it. Like I say, you can you do different flowers, you can do different words. But I think I'm going to leave it at that for now. I could always add to it. Um, when I've got a set, you know, when I've got spare time, just do a few more stitches. I think I might do a little bit of a border, maybe. Um, but um, yeah, I'm going to keep it at that for now. So there, there you go. That's that done for now. So thank you so much for joining me, and I hope to see you again soon. So take take care, and happy new year. I'll see you soon, hopefully. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs>